So if you want to receive USDT to buy bit exchange, this is exactly how you're going to do it. Maybe somebody wants to send you USDT or you want to get it from one exchange into your buy bit exchange. What you simply do is to open your phone and then go ahead and click on your buy bit exchange app. Exactly this. Now the moment you opens you see where it is written deposit the deposit can be on the top of your phone screen at the right side the moment you click on it there are several options that will display but you're going to be selecting the option that says deposit crypto this deposit crypto means you want to receive cryptocurrency from another exchange now there are so many cryptos here, but if you do not see the particular one you want to receive, search for it. So I just typed USDT. Observe whatever that shows and make sure that what you want, the token is exactly the same thing. You see the ones below this USDT is similar, but it's not exactly the same. So the moment you click on that you will be selecting the network so you ask the person if you are receiving the token from somebody if it is usdt ask the person what network if the person tell you is b20 or tron or ethereum whichever one it is you will come here and select exactly that network if you make a mistake in the network, you are going to lose the token, even if the person has sent it. So among all the numerous networks here, for this option, I'm using TRC20. So what you simply do here is to copy the wallet address. The wallet address is like your bank account number. So you see copy icon beside it just go ahead and click on that two paper that is together and you have copied it now the next thing you can do is to get back to that exchange you want to receive usdt from so if it is from somebody you want to receive it from at this moment just send the address to the person and the person will send it to you but if you want to get the usdt maybe from okx binance stonekeeper trust wallet or from any airdrop at all you simply open to that particular place and then paste this your usdt address so now i want to get this particular usdt from my bitget exchange that's why i open bitget if you open the exchange you click on assets so I click on asset in BitGet exchange and here the next thing to do here is to click on withdraw because you are withdrawing from here to buy bit exchange. So the next thing is to select the particular token. In this case, it is USDT. It is the address you copied. You must look for exactly that token. So you select on chain. So when this particular option opens, it says tap and hold to paste so you paste your wallet address here and select that particular network you copy the address for this one it is trc20 now you go ahead and type in the amount it says the minimum amount here that i can withdraw is ten dollar okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and type 45 dollar but they will not give you exactly what you typed in because they have service fee that's for most networks so this particular one the moment you do that it says security verification if you have not done this before most of the time you'll be required to connect google authenticator for security purpose okay now if you don't have it before you click download app if you have it you click on next now the screen is dark because they do not allow screen recording but what will happen is that they will show you a key that you have to copy then that particular key you open google authenticator that you have installed in your phone and then the google authenticator will still be black if you are recording it on camera like i'm doing but you are going to see your email address there if you have google authenticator you have been using it make sure that the email address of that particular exchange that you want to withdraw from is the email address that is in this google authenticator so, so select it and you see this option to allow it to receive code now you enter where it says enter code key 
so that you paste that code you have copied and then type in exactly the name you use for registering or creating an account in that exchange that is bitget for example i'll write my full name as i wrote it if not it will not work so you copy the code from the google authenticator the moment you paste it in bitget it will automatically bring another page for you to verify your email address and phone number okay so if you do not pay attention you're going to make a mistake right here the first thing we just did was to create a connection between google authenticator and then the bitget exchange but if you have created it before you may not need to do it again now after creating that connection they say okay now you can withdraw but the normal thing before you withdraw your fund from your bizget exchange to any other exchange at all is to verify the phone number you linked to your bizget exchange and also verify the email address you linked to your bizget exchange this is applicable to every other exchange the reason for this is in order for somebody to not easily withdraw your fund because people and someone else may not have that access to your email address your phone number to do all of that without your notice so now let's get back to it so the moment you have copied the code to, they sent to your phone number and your email and added it now you very do you will do another verification which is to verify your email address and google authenticator so the verification is to don't say you have done it before and they are asking you again so now you just have to copy the code from your email and from your google authenticator and click next it will automatically be withdrawn to that your bit get exchange and you see right here it is processing yeah i'm sweating too much because they took light yeah our light is off i'm in nigeria man yeah so you see the withdrawal is successfully done so now to confirm this you have to go back to your buy bit exchange you see it's just reflected now a short reminder if you are making withdrawal from for an airdrop it will not reflect immediately it's going to reflect on the date that the airdrop project team told you and then for some network it can delay but they will also always tell you whether it will take a or two minutes or three minutes or five minutes so within that time range it will reflect most times some network is faster than the other i hope this helps you to claim your usdt and remember to give me some in case you have usdt or any other token or coin in your exchange and you want to withdraw it to your bank account the video on your screen will guide you to do that hit the thumbs up